Greetings, salutations, and hello once again, you beautiful nerds. I am Wildfire One. You are listening and watching Nerds the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. We are on episode 129, season 7. With me today is... Monster 74. Good old Monster. Monster came up with this idea. Um, we did uh, kind of already a PlayStation update podcast, but they updated the update, so we got to update our update. Yes. If that makes yes. sense. So uh, they they actually put what the actual PlayStation is going to look like. I know this is going to be months out, but we're making this as we got the information. Uh, yes. Let's uh, let's let's get into that. There's uh, what are the stats so far for the the PlayStation Five? So the stats the stats are it has eight Zen two cores at three point five gigahertz variable frequency. The GPU. the GPU is 10.28 teraflops um, with 36 CUs at 2.2 gigahertz variable frequency. Again, the, the GPU is a custom RDNA 2, a 16 gigabyte GDDR6. Okay. And it has a custom 825 gigabyte solid state drive. And of course it has expandable storage. And it, Hopefully it'll have external storage support. And yeah, what I read here it does. Because we kind of we kind of got addicted to that. That's kind of our thing yes. now. The optical drive is a 4K UHD Blu-ray drive, mm-hmm. which I'm pretty sure it goes up to it'll go up to 8K later on. That's so. the stats so far. Well, mm-hmm. I bet you I bet you they're going to be updated because I know that the uh, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox X is like really close in the running. As far as mm-hmm. how they run, um, and eventually one's going to want to outdo the other, and that's just going to be a shit show, and it'll be yeah. interesting to see. Um, it's always fun when a new when the new gens come out because one of them always has like what like a good example, and I was just talking about this the other day with someone else. Uh, one will have like uh, like Xbox when it first came out with the HD, and then mm-hmm. PlayStation had Blu-ray, and which one yeah. went out, you know, and all that. So it's always interesting to see what's like. Oh, we got this, but do we the other the 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 other people have this, and it's just good good to see yeah. what what we end up what the majority ends up choosing. That's the stats for the PlayStation Five. What about like how it looks? What it's wow. uh what are what are your thoughts oh. on? Because they they did they they posted pictures of it, and I'm sure it's gonna yes. come in black and white and all these other colors mm-hmm. and all this other all this other all this other customizable bullshit, but. Uh, what did you think of, of what they showed us? What was the first impressions of, of the black and white PlayStation 5? My, 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 my first impressions were, oh shit, it's finally here. You know, when I was... When I, and then they had so many... Uh, when they revealed it, they had so many like trailers. I was like, just get to the fucking PS5. Just get to the PS5. I don't give a crap about all these trailers right now. Were they just were but, they trailers uh, for other games? Right. Yeah, trailers for the games that, that are going to come out with okay. it, or come out as it, it, it uh, after it um, it gets released. Mm. We'll whatever. get to that in a little bit, but mm-hmm. your your initial thoughts on how it looked, like on on the cosmetics oh. of the PlayStation Five. I liked it. I mean, compared to the Xbox Series X, which I think is like a dual, like uh, I don't think it was an original idea. Well. The PlayStation Five looks like it's more of an original design, other than a. I'm just gonna put it in a box. I'm not gonna... not hating on the Xbox, but it just looks like an old school computer. Yes. It looks yes. like it looks like a a, a a desktop. And honestly, I, I mean, you you definitely buying what you're paying. You're definitely ba- paying for what you're buying. Like it's a Xbox X, and it's a big box. It looks like a shoebox. And on ridiculous. another note, they have also have two versions. So they have the one with the disc drive and one that's just all digital. All cloud. I think. I think the one that's actually all digital actually looks better than one with uh, the, the, uh, the drive. disk drive. Okay. Yeah, because it looks like more of like the design of it. It's you more. Know? It's more the sleek. One, yeah, it, it looks more sleek. But I'm gonna get the. I won't end up getting the digital one, most likely. The uh, the I've seen so many memes from like. People, because when we when we when we got to see what it was, we posted it on Facebook, and there was a bunch mm-hmm. of there was a few different responses, you know, and one of them was funny because uh, they put 
a router between two pieces of paper and mm-hmm. it, but it was funny as hell i've seen other ones where um they compared it to like this the tower of sauron in the lord of the rings <laughs> and, yes and, and there's other ones like you know there's just uh, it's just it just went on and on there's a bunch of different memes and, and funny little pictures that they they did i honestly i don't like the way it looks i'm gonna be the odd man out because it's it looks like it's gonna be too breakable all the other mm-hmm. playstation um systems in itself were always kind of square and they didn't have little bits and pieces that if you knock on something it'll break right off this one yeah. those plates on the side look like they're if you it fell those things are fucking breaking they look like True, you, you know they're not. It's not gonna hold up to the test of time. We're talking people are buying it with children, dogs, you know, pets, what have you. Cats like to knock shit off shelves, you know. I, I doubt yep. they can do a, a PlayStation Five, but I don't know. There's some buff cats out there. But they did. They showed it. They showed it standing up. But I think it could go uh, horizontal on its side. Because mm-hmm. I think they did that with the PlayStation Four as well. I think it, the original was standing up. Or maybe I'm thinking three. Three, I think the three was standing up. Either way, I'd PS4 rather. It doesn't feel like it should stand up at all. Uh, yeah. Either way, I'd rather it be on its side because it's it's. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old school like that. All the other all the other games were just on their side or you know, on on their back or what have you. Um, just a flat little station that you put games in, and it's kind of I I kind of don't want to see that change. I don't like the initial design. I don't like the cosmetics. It's almost. Like they're going, it's almost like they're going complete opposite of Xbox, which is, I get it, but it's too aerodynamic. What the, you're not, it's not a Frisbee, it's a fucking <laughs> PlayStation. It, it, it's almost like they're like, look at me, it's pretty like, this time around. I like the original design. You're talking about the what, what they're doing now, or you're talking about, mm-hmm. yeah, okay, it's okay. I know people who like it, it's just not necessarily my thing. I'm not mm-hmm. a big fan of what they're doing with it. And that's just, that's a little bitch because it's, it's, as long as it plays my games and it works and I'm a happy camper, you know, as long as I get to play all these new games that's going to come out. Uh, speaking of which, there's a list of games. I know that one of them was, uh, and I read this online, I don't know if it's how true it is, but if you if you get it within like the first few months, I guess you get GTA V online, just online mm-hmm. for free. For three months, yes. For th- well, for three months. Mm-hmm. So it's free for if three I, months, and then I, you got to pay for mm-hmm. it. Oh, okay, then I thought it was free for, like, good forever. That's some bullshit, PlayStation and Rockstar. Mm-hmm. But well, that's okay. Honestly, don't I make me pay this. W- for the PlayStation 5, if I have to get Grand Theft Auto again, 5 again, that'll be the third time I bought it. It'd be, like, my fourth. Well, you, but if you bought it, like, six times for... For the PlayStation 4, so, you know, but that that's neither here nor there. It's I'm talking about I got for the PlayStation 3, mm-hmm. I got it for the PlayStation 4, and then we'd have to get it again for the PlayStation 5. Like, Rockstar, they, stop, stop, get off your high horse. Give us, play, if you give us, if you give us Grand Theft Auto 6, you're going to get a shit ton of money. Mm-hmm. And if you do sell it, and if they do sell it for PlayStation 5, maybe, you know, 20 bucks, 15 dollars. Really cheap. Hopefully, it's not a, a, a service sixty dollar you know, game. Yeah. Yeah, subscription. There we go. So it'd be cool if you had PlayStation mm-hmm. Plus and you got it for free. That's incentive. Yeah. You know. Uh, so that being uh, that <laughs> being said, and out of the way, because we're big, we're big GTA people. We've been playing GTA for a mm-hmm. long time. Um, Since when fifteen thousand was like a, a winning the lottery. Huh? Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. So. Uh, what other games are coming out? I know that I'm pretty sure that because uh, one of the games that just came out recently for the PlayStation 4 was Last of Us uh, 2. I'm sure they're going to have another version of that out for the PlayStation 5, right? Yeah, no, it's not one of the... That they um, announced. They announced. Okay, they announced well, let's the talk PS5. about the games that they announced. on on Because we're, we're going off of the uh, the video that when they first announced mm-hmm. what the, the what it looked like. And there's a bunch of... There's a list of games. So go ahead. Yeah, go go with that. So this could be a long list. So, Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales. That looks good. Let's talk about that yes. for a second. Um, that, that game I'm actually excited for. Well, you're you're a big fan of the other Spider-Man games too. Mm-hmm. Like I just that no, just that one Spider-Man game on the PlayStation that they 4. made for the PS4. Yeah. yeah, all the others weren't that good. 
Web of Shadows. Well, there, I, I, I hadn't played since like I want to say the PlayStation Two one mm -hmm. with the you know with the Toby Toby Maguire uh, oh one, which was really good. I thought that was amazing. And then of course you know the graphics didn't really age well yeah. with it. Uh, but yeah, it, this one, this the, the you said Miles Morales. It looks good. It looks really good. Uh, uh, hopefully, it's not an add-on to like the the game, but it's like a standalone game. But they, I, I don't think they've they've clarified that or not. If yeah. it's a standalone or or not. Well, I mean, time um, will tell. What else? Another one that's supposed to come out is Gran Turismo Seven. Yeah, racing games aren't my thing. I mean, it sounds okay. It looks cool. Oh, I'm looks sure it good. looks amazing. I'm sure the graphics on the game are fucking amazing, but... I haven't played Gran Turismo since Gran Turismo 3 or 4, so, I mean, it's, it's been a long time. <laughs> um, another one I'm excited for is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, which looked really, really good. Well, there's a lot of Ratchet & Clank uh, fans mm -hmm. out there, so... Mm -hmm. And then there's another one, the Project Athia or Athia, which... I don't think the the it was very long, but it it looked okay. I mean, hmm. it looked like it was worth a buy sometime. If they would have released more about it, probably would have been. No, it's made by Square Enix, so. Well, but Square Enix is. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, ho it'll probably be a good game. Yeah. So another one that I thought was looks so stupid is a stray. This is the cat one where it's walking around with robots. I see. I barely. I don't think I even seen that as video on some of the stuff. Yeah, no, it it looks stupid. That's probably why. Okay. Um, Returnal, which actually looked really, really good. It looked like it would be like a a a, a th and it looked like it would be like a thriller. Hmm. Type, type kind of almost type like a, a like Silent Hill or yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of like something like that. Is that the? That's not the one. It's that. They're doing with because uh, I know they're doing another another Resident Evil game. No, that that that's down more down. Okay, in, continue this list. So another one is Sackboy: A Big Adventure, which if it's I don't know if it's just about Sackboy or if it's going to be more like the Little Big Planet series. Mm -hmm. But I like the first Little Big Planet. I like being able to create you know your own levels, play them with people. I thought that was a really good Little idea. Big Planet was one of those games that came out when the PlayStation 4, if I, if I remember correctly, when the PlayStation 4 first came out. Mm -mm. PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3, okay. Did they have a Little Big Planet 2 for the PS4? No, Little Big Planet 3. They're all PS3. Three. Okay, see, that's. Which for the PS4. I really never got into them, but I, I heard all sorts of good things. So, it's just one of those games I never really. I, I saw and I was like, eh, you know, not my cup of tea. Another one is Destruction All Stars. Okay. Which, um. It didn't tickle my fancy. What it look like? Uh, it it kind of it kind of looked like Twisted Metal, but oh. just a lamer version of Twisted Metal. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I'm not a big fan one, of Twisted Metal either, so. I like Twisted Metal. A lot of people did. Yeah. Uh, another one is Kenna Bridge of the Spirits. I don't really remember this one too well. Um, I wonder if it's an uh, RPG. I don't know how long. Yeah. But it wasn't one. It was. If I don't remember, it's probably one that didn't 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 look good to me. Mm, didn't pop. I don't know about to you. Yeah. There's also Goodbye Volcano High, <laughs> which they didn't show really show nothing to it other than like, it just looked like an anime. There's probably not much. A lot of these are probably still in like, freaking super early production. Yeah. So, this one says uh, 2021. Yeah, that makes sense. To. It's gonna be a bit. Odd World. They, apparently, they got another Odd World coming. It's Odd World Soulstorm. Actually, looked pretty cool. That I'd know, hear, I did hear about. It. Odd um, World was was one of those games that I think a lot of people will remember. Uh, mm -hmm. As one of those on the PlayStation One. Yeah, one of those games that people like. You know, I remember that game. That's it's. It, I think it even came out with a PlayStation Classic. There's Ghostwire Tokyo, which, if I if I remember correctly, correctly. That game actually looked pretty fun. That like it would be a fun game to what, play. What what would you what what did it look like as far as uh, um, comparing it to another game? I I don't think I compared the look and what I, of that to another game. So it, hmm. it was unique. It was unique. Okay. Um, it was unique. Okay. That's all I could say. It was unique. Like I it yeah. said three times, like and he he like it was unique. Like you should be rubbing your nipples when you said that. It was unique. 
Oh yeah. Um, so, Jet the Far Shore. Hmm. I don't. I don't remember that one. That one. Okay. Uh, yeah, that one I don't remember too well. Um, another one is Godfall, which, as soon as I seen that, you know, uh, the game that me and uh, Baby Girl Doom used to play. Remember we tried to get you to play it? That's what it rem- Oh, is it the, uh, you're talking about that, like, MMORPG, uh... Yeah. That was like, yeah, that was a, I played it, it was fun, it was just, it's just, I, it yeah. has, an MMORPG has to, like, grasp me to make me continue playing it, and then you've played with me with Mabinogi, like, you get, and you, you, you understand how the games like that are, you get kind of tired of it after yep. a while, because it's the same shit, you know? Hell, you played with uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. It was about this. It, you know, it's fun as hell. You but, played the shit out of that game. But there's only so much you can do, and then you're like, okay, um, hmm, I'm done. Um, another one was Solar Ash, hmm. which they didn't show too much on that, I believe. But, uh, it wasn't one. It wasn't one that popped at you as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A lot. A lot of these didn't really pop pop to me too much. A couple of them, when we get to them. I will, you would definitely know. That's um, something we got to remember. For. Like, every time a new game comes out, a lot of the games that come out with it at first mm-hmm. are going to be, you know, uh, they're going to be okay. There's uh. going to be some that, that come out and you're going to be really excited about, but a lot of them are just going to be like, we're testing the graphics. We're testing what we can do. And, yeah, you know, and, and then go from there. So Hitman 3 is apparently coming out for the PlayStation 5. I don't know if it's just all these. I don't know if all these are exclusives, but the Hitman Three, it, it looked like it was going to be pretty good. It's hard to have an exclusive game these days. <laughs> you make so much more money as as a as a game developer going through all of the systems. I would think. Well, yep. then again, what do I know? I'm not. I've never sold a game in my life. <laughs> Bought a bunch though. Bought a bunch. I'm a I'm a consumer, not a developer. I think this next one is coming by like popular popular demand for when we play like the VR and stuff because mm-hmm. it's actually pretty fun to play. So it's Astro's Playroom. Okay, yeah, the little so robot. Little robot, yeah. yeah. Those were those were cool. I uh, see. That's another thing. I'm really interested to see what the VR is going to be like for the PlayStation Five because the PlayStation Four follows the lighting system mm-hmm. on the on Maybe the controller. The there's a light. There's a little light system on the you know little front for the PS4 that follows that. So I wonder where it's gonna fall. Is it gonna be more motion censored? I, it's gonna be interesting. Maybe the haptic feedback is gonna be more. Fun. Yeah, that very well could be it. There's a game, Little Devil Inside, which another one that didn't that just went mm. right past me. Maybe a lot of any developers, huh? Yeah, like any games. I believe so. Mm-hmm. Um, NBA 2K21. I don't ah. give a fuck about that game. Sorry, guys. If you like, if you like, if you're the person that likes sports games, God bless you. You know, good, good luck. I'm glad you like that stuff. It's just not our cup of tea. I if I'm if I want to do something, I'll play that in real life. I, yeah, I'll, like I'll if I'm gonna play baseball, I'll play baseball. I I used to like playing it when I was younger. And on top of that, the yeah. games. I was telling this guy this the other day. The uh, the sports games have gotten too difficult to control. Like you gotta, it's almost like you gotta press five buttons at once to do what you want to do, and it's mm. it's just that's just you know the last time I played one of those games. So anyway, so this one, this next one, actually, I thought was kind of cool. A lot of people probably probably didn't wouldn't care about it, but it was Bug Snacks. So I mean, it looked like it was a, it was a, it was going to be a, you know, like a game for a kid child to play. Okay. You know, a little cute game for a child to play or something like that. It actually looked pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Well, sometimes neat. those games are more fun than you believe. Like I, like I mean, I just recently started playing um, uh, count carnival games on the VR, and it was a lot much mm-hmm. more fun than I thought it would be. I haven't played that yet. Demon Souls remake. I've never played a Demon Souls. Isn't that the either Dark Carmel. Souls two or? Or is it no. a different franchise? No, it's a, it's, I think it's a different franchise. Okay. What do I know? I, that's another game I really, I, I kind of wanted to get into, but I never, it, I was broke. Didn't have the money to buy the Dark Souls or Demon Souls or any of those Souls games. The neck, this next one, actually, I thought would, looked really, really good. Death Loop. This one, I actually paid a lot of attention to because I thought it was a great concept. But you're this, I guess you play as this person who is on this island, hmm. and you play until you die. You come back, 
and redo it all over again. And you have to take out, like, these five main bad guys. I thought it was a good concept. It sounds cool. It does. It's it's just it's hard for me to imagine. I'll have to check it out. That's what yeah, I'll a lot keep of my re- replayability. Now, here's the one that you wanted to talk about is the Resident Evil Village. Mm-hmm. So, they didn't they didn't show us a lot. They just pretty much it was a cut scene put it in, in front of us. A, a couple of seconds of cut scene that said Resident or no, it said Village or something like that. It didn't even say Resident Evil. I don't believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I, it's been a couple of days. Mm-hmm. It looked like it looked it looked like it might be good. Yes. It's like Biohazard or the VR one that came out. Mm-hmm. It, it, it it'll probably be really fun. Which I have not played seven yet. I feel like I'm a failure as a Resident Evil fan because I haven't played it, but I haven't played it. Here's what it <laughs> is. <laughs> then there's a game called Pragmata or Pragmata. I don't know who, whichever you want to Pregnata. pronounce it. Yeah. Pregnata? No, not ma- Mata. I know, I'm okay. being funny. I'm, I'm oh, okay. Like, oh, pregnancy, I, Pregnata. I get it, I get it. I said if it was really Pregnata, I, that would be an uh, interesting game to play. Yeah, that would be very interesting. That would be funny as fuck, though. <laughs> um, now, last but not least, Horizon Forbidden West. So that's, that that's, game is it a sequel? Got, yes. It's a sequel to Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn, Dawn, which is an amazing that game. game. I am very, very excited for. Yeah, I think I was more excited to hear about that game than any of the others. Cause that one came as a surprise. I didn't think we'd get another Horizon game, not like that. Like, but, what? How are you gonna? How are you get? How are you gonna get bigger and better than that? That was like life or death. We will find out. There's more of those uh, systems to Forbidden West. It's it's gonna be yeah. It's there's gonna be there's gonna be more. I bet you it's uh, visiting all the other, whatchamacallits, I forget their name at this point, but... The vaults and all that other shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that one that one caught me by surprise. I was excited. That's the one I was most... That game and uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales were the two ones that I was the most excited for. Was that... As like, soon as I saw them, I was... That wasn't the whole list, was it? Yeah, that was the whole list. I thought you said there was a lot to talk about. That was a lot of. That was a. There's a lot of, of games. There was a lot of games, but. Like and, Thirty games almost. But I mean, probably. honestly, like, there's not as many games as you'd expect. Thirty games for for one system coming out isn't a lot. That's twenty seven games. That's including uh, fucking Grand Theft Auto Five, which I believe they should release a Grand Theft Auto Six instead of Grand Th- instead of throwing old shit at us. It's just a way to make money. You, you know. You know what to make this guy happy remake of legends of dragoon Just yes we'll put that out there i would love to see that i mean they well, uh, don't remake don't remake it like, like you final made fantasy it final fantasy 7 remake yeah. it like like a whole redo of the game we'll add a few yeah. more scenes add a few more story a little more story that way we're not like okay we know what's happening we know this whole game and why buy it again you know because you got so add much more weapons yeah you got so much more um so much more space on the new on the new uh, drives that you can get away with adding more stuff, you know, and it Upgrade it just the graph- yeah tenfold. the graphics the everything and, and the story just put more put more stuff into it that'd be a great idea because a Hell, lot of people love Le- Legends of Dragon. Make the fucking Legend of Dragon make it PS3 graphics and add a bunch of shit to it. No, I mean, no, if they're gonna remake I'd it, be they happy gotta. With that. They I'd gotta make it PS3, badass. PS4 graphics. They gotta make it. You don't badass. have to make it 4K. Don't. I don't give a shit make about 4K. 4K. Make it 20K. If you're gonna make go big, 10, go big. Because I'm pretty sure it came out at like 480. So make it 10, 1080. Yeah, it came out. It came out. It was. I think that was a PlayStation One game. Uh huh. I think like 480 or less than 480. You know, re- redo the music. You know, some of the music you don't have to redo, but some of it you do. You know, to kind of go with with how things are now but not uh, yeah i would love to see a, a legend of dragon i would you know another one i'd love to see is uh like a chrono trigger redone i've never Square played Enix. them you a little know? bit before my time not that chrono trigger wasn't amazing as it was it was mm-hmm. but it's just something like i would love to see redone yep. you know same here i would play it then you should play <laughs> it now it's it's a good game but and it's got a really good story and soundtrack but that's another story that's a podcast for another time 
Mm-hmm. So let us know what you guys think. Uh, what did you think of what the PlayStation 5 looked like? You know, was the cosmetics worth the wait? Was uh, do you think that it can do better as far as as far as graphics? Do you think they can go even better than that? Uh, it looks like it's gonna play some good games. There's gonna be some good shit coming out. I'm really excited to see what's next. Uh, let us let us know your your uh, take sure. on the games and what games you guys like. Yeah, even if it's an Xbox, you know, we're not yeah. necessarily Xbox people, but we're gamers. We're mm-hmm. all gamers. We're it only we're not Xbox gamers because we're poor gamers. Yes. <laughs> I have I already have I, I think I said this on Twitter the other day uh, twi- I think it was Twitter or Facebook I can't remember where it was but I, I'm a PlayStation person but that's because I at this very moment I already have a PC a, a PlayStation for a, a Nintendo Switch mm-hmm. and like my my pocketbook just can't handle anymore like I can't do any more mm-hmm. monthly monthly fucking game things I just can't so, uh, you know, and I got friends who are Xbox gamers, and there's some Xbox games that are expl- ex- exclusive for Microsoft, and that's cool, you know. Uh, Hopefully, they get the cross-play. It that sounds like there are. Um, did you hear about, it's good that you, you know, you got your, your, uh, your VR back. Oh, yeah. I got because my- Squadrons is coming out. Oh, is and that, that the one that the uh, the one we used to play on 64? No, you know? no, no. It's kind of like it, but it's... it's. I, I mean, it could be like it, but I know it's it's Star Wars Squadrons. You're in the cockpit of a fucking X-Wing or a TIE Fighter shooting people God, down, dude. We're going to get with that shit. We're go- that's going to be a... Fu- we're doing that. That's a fucking thing. <laughs> I am excited. I guess it's a PS4. It's going to be on the PS4, so... Oh. Oh. I'll play that shit. Oh, take my money. Serious. You want my left leg, too? <laughs> so I'm excited for that. It's going to be interesting. And it, it's going to be EA again, but EA didn't do... They didn't do do pad on Star Wars Fallen Order, so... I haven't got to it yet. It's... Oh, if you get... You got it. It's some really good storyline. But anyway, uh, again, guys, let us know what you think. If you think it's worth the buy, if you think it, it looks ugly or it's pretty or, you know... Or if, if you want to hit someone with it, you know... <laughs> Uh, or be hit with it. Or, know, or yeah, or be hit with it. We don't. We're not. A, we're not kink shaming here, you know. <laughs> so till next time, we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy, always.